imagine yourself at the age of 12, stepping onto a stage looked on by hundreds and hundreds of people, but your fear is conquered by determination. Determination to be the change, to change the outlook of these people, to tell them where these everyday products really come from and who makes them in the worst conditions. Children, honorable judges, teachers, parents, and fellow students, this is the story of Craig Kielberger. Craig Kielberger was born in the nice town of Thornhill, Ontario on December 17, 1982. There he attended Bishop Scalabrini Catholic School where he got his inspiration to start his worldwide charity, Free the Children. One day in his class, we learned about a 12-year-old Pakistan boy, Iqbal Massive, who was all over the news because he was assassinated. Why, you ask? Because he came out about a story of child labor. Iqbal worked in a carpet factory for most of his life just to pay off a family debt as little as $12. Most people in Canada and America didn't know the extreme conditions these kids were put in, or even that they made children work. Because of his actions, many people stopped buying their carpets and other products, making the companies lose business. So one day, while riding his bike, Iqbal was shot dead. Craig was angry that children over there didn't have a voice, or that they couldn't play, go to school, or just be children. This inspired him to create Free the Children. Craig founded Free the Children when he was 12. The office was located in his living room, with staff aged 12 to 16. They went class to class explaining what goes down in third world countries and would do fundraisers like car washes to raise salaries for teachers in countries that are too poor to pay them. Everything was going great for them and they were getting lots of attention and people were donating to their cause. At the Ontario Federal Labour Convention, he spoke his cause to a few hundred people, and his goal is to raise $5,000. They ended up raising $150,000 towards a rehab school for children that had been released from labor. But when you voiced an opinion, good or not, some people disagreed. Older people thought he was too young to order people around. But of course it didn't stop him. He actually did the opposite of that. He created Me Too and Me Day with his brother, Mark Kielberger. The brothers, Mark and Craig Kielberger, founded Me Too Eat in 2008. It is their own company that produces Canadian-made, sweatshirt-free clothing and accessories, with half of the profits going to free the children. It's just in their way that the Kielbergers are helping out with the world. Some of the spokespeople for Me Too Eat are Sean Desmond, Nelly Furtado, Joe Jonas, and many other famous people helping out with the cause. And you know the brothers didn't stop there. Back in 2007, they created an exciting, fun-filled event by the name of We Day. We Day was created to inspire youth to help out with the world and be the change. When you enter the stadium, you'll see a bright, animated stage on the far side of the stadium, and eventually, it slowly fills up with 20,000 ecstatic children and teachers. Then, when you reach your seat, you'll find a bag, filled to the top with many great things, like a pen made out of paper, an actual book, and a light-up necklace controlled by Weeding to create a jaw-dropping light show. Throughout the whole thing, they had inspirational speakers like Spencer West and Desmond Tutu. Also, a few pop icons stopped by to entertain the crowd. Some of the people I saw were One Republic, Demi Lovato, Cody Simpson, and many more great performances making you live with a smile on your face and inspiration to help out with the world. For example, our school is raising money to build a school in Haiti. Because even though the devastating earthquake happened there so many years ago, not too much has changed, and they are still in desperate need of aid. Craig, now at the age of 30, speaks to crowds in the 20,000 area. I mean, no big deal, right? He has inspired thousands of people, including me. And where he stands today shows that kids do have a voice, and that we can do something about child labor and poverty in ways big or small. Thank you.